All right, guys, welcome back to Nifty Network. Today we have a DE350DZ. This is also the same for HRs. I'm gonna teach you how to remove your door lock actuator. This little guy right here. Uh, sometimes they jam up or on the cables, the, the tips will break off. So then you can't open your door. So I'm gonna teach you how to remove that right now. And let's get to it. For this starting, we're gonna put a flat head right under this little plastic piece and be gentle, okay? Be gentle. You're going to wiggle it in there and then just slowly, slowly work it up and it'll, it'll release like that. You don't want to just pull it because it's, it's metal and it'll just bend. It's super thin. So there you go. That's the first part. Now we're going to get a 10 millimeter socket on an extension and we're going to go in there. And let me show you. We'll be basically just pull forward on this. And this screw at the bottom, actually whoever did this put in the wrong one. Normally there is a, a different threaded bolts on here, but there's supposed to be two different ones in here, not two fine thread ones. So that's how you get the handle off. And then for the window switch, once you have the handle out of the way it's really easy you just lift up in the center get that up a little bit and then push it forward in the back and lift up and then rock it forward get your flathead and like so and now that we got the handle and the uh, window switch off there's three more tens there's one over here. So this is the one that they should have put on that handle. And the reason I know that is because it's not coming out. You see how it's just falling in? We'll have to probably pull on the door panel. So, so whoever had this off first must have stripped something. Which is just kind of good to show because these cars are old and a lot of people have gotten to them. There's gonna be another screw or another bolt under here. Lift the handle and there's a little plastic trim piece that you have to pop out like that. And there's another another 10 mil way back in there. All right, so that is out. And then what I like to do is I'll start at the bottom I'll start at the bottom of the door panel and you'll you'll feel like a little opening in here. I'll put that in there, the pry tool, and then start prying back. So you're going to pry it back all the way until you see only the top holding on. And then lift up in the rear and just wiggle the door panel free. Don't pull too far away because your door lock actuator is hooked up to here. And on these ones, you'll see it normally sits like this. And in order to take that off, you just kind of wiggle and slide it up that slot. Like that, your window switch is already disconnected. And there you go. Um, we've got the door panel off, the handle off, the window switch off. You don't need to take the tweeter off or the mirror off. Um, so just kind of disregard that section. Make sure that the window is all the way up. And then it looks like this window has been replaced before. The reason I can tell you that is because normally there's a black sticker that goes over this one, this one, and that one. And that black sticker, basically they try to keep it so that no dust can go inside the door or come inside the car. So there's, there's stickers over all these little pieces right here. Somebody had removed those already. But... If yours was there, you would have one here and here and there and there and here and there. Anyways, we'll get to this one right here. So we'll take that top right one off. And then next to the regulator track, there's gonna be another hole with a 10 mil. And then right above the grommet where the window motor goes in, there's gonna be the third one. And it's okay if that drops off because 
we're going to have to take the whole door apart anyways. And then, once you have those three out, slide it up and your window's out. Putting our flathead in there, spinning that sideways, unplugging the window motor. And I just always, I tuck it behind these wires right here. And then we're going to come down here with our pry tool. And we're going to pop our harness off of there. Get that out of the way. And then just pull all the 10 mils off. Pull all the 10 mils off on the outside. You don't have to worry about like this one, this one, this one, this one, even though that's a 12, you don't have to pull that off. So basically wherever the border of it is, just start in one spot and work your way around. So now all of that is off and you're going to see two little pins right here. Those are the locating pins so that the window regulator plate stays true to the, to the door. So I always start near one of those pins just because it makes it a little easier. Uh, there is going to be a lot of resistance here. So I'll open it up and I'll put my finger in there and then I kind of just walk my way around and then at a certain point it'll pop off like so. You'll drop it down a little bit, open it up, and then slide it right out. And I like doing it this way because if you were to undo, if you're to undo this 10 mil and that 10 mil and this 12 and this 12, these are all adjusters. So see how this stud has a slot in it? You can actually adjust where the where the thickness of the um, the regulator sits. So I always try to leave it in like the OEM spot. So if I were to loosen that 12, I'd be able to spin that nut up and down um, and adjust the window. But there you go. The window regulator with the motor stays all intact. Nothing got bent. Yeah, very simple. Once you get all this off, you have T30 Torx. There is Loctite on these, so don't be alarmed if it's kind of hard to get out. So once you have those three out, you just kind of wiggle this until it frees up. And then you're going to kind of hang it forward and there's going to be a plug down here. And then I will, um, I'll take a flathead because I can't get my fingers back there. And just press down on the little tab. Can you see still? Oh yeah. And just like that. And there you go. Your door lock actuator is out.